Ladies and gentlemen, I just got off the phone with my number one source and we have been informed that the superstar receiver Noah Rogers, the number one overall player from the state of North Carolina, has publicly committed to the University of Ohio State. That's the third straight day Ohio State has a superstar receiver commit to the program. Shout out to my number one source for being on top of it. And guys, me and my number one source are going to be having a massive meeting tonight where we will have huge intel regarding uh, Jeremiah Smith. And right now, we are speculating that Ohio State is planning to do some sort of multi-day commitment series and it might end tomorrow with the superstar five-star receiver, Jeremiah Smith. So Jeremiah Smith still is completely on commitment watch for tomorrow. But guys, let's get back to Noah Rogers. Let's talk a little, little bit about this recruitment, the scare we had this past week. It was a whirlwind. So Noah Rogers, I kind of detailed it in a past video where it's one of those things, it looks like Ohio State has him locked up. There's people in the state of North Carolina saying this is the most talented player they've ever seen in the state. Don't get it twisted. Don't think he's just a four-star. This is a superstar, and this kid was originally supposed to visit Ohio State on Saturday for a major official visit where many people speculated he would be committing to the program. The visit doesn't happen due to a scheduling issue with the flights. They had major storms in North Carolina, but people were speculating, and I was one of them. I said, listen, you look at Brandon Innes committing to Ohio State, possibly. You look at Carnell Tate, that's two five-stars in the class of 2023. Where does that leave Noah Rogers? And yesterday, guys, my number one source said, there's no reason to worry. Noah Rogers is a Buckeye, and we're already speculating that the superstar, you know, top five or six overall player, Jerome, I think he's ranked 13th right now or something, but he is an absolute superstar Jeremiah Smith will be committing to Ohio State at some point, possibly tomorrow afternoon. And then I don't know if we're going to get one on Friday too. Are they going to do the whole week? It's not going to be Jermaine Matthews because Jermaine recently announced earlier this morning that he would be making an actual commitment on July 1st. So we're going to have to wait a little bit for Jermaine Matthews, the rover safety, who's really actually better than his recruiting ranking. I see a lot of Ohio State fans a little bit, you know, why are we taking this guy? Guys, Jermaine Matthews, I was talking to my number one source, Jermaine Matthews apparently was at an LSU camp this past weekend and absolutely showed out. He looked like a five-star prospect. I'm not saying he's a five-star prospect, but still, he's an extremely good kid, and I... That's going to be a great get for Ohio State. He's a guy that's going to rise. He might not be, you know, he might not be a top 100 guy, but he's still an elite player. But guys, you talk about Carnell Tate on Monday. My number one source called it. Brandon Innes, yes, uh, yesterday, my number one source calls it. Noah Rogers today, my number one source calls it. And we're expecting Jeremiah Smith, the 2024 five star, to join Dylan Rayola and be an absolute superstar tandem. My number one source is telling me that we could possibly see the 2024 class be the greatest of all time. And it makes sense. I mean, you've already got a superstar quarterback committed. You're possibly getting a superstar receiver. You're also leading for JoJo Trader. I know people are going to be speculating on him. Will he be the next one? Guys, we're told he's expected to extend his recruitment out a little bit, unfortunately, with JoJo Trader. It would certainly be a crazy situation if he ended up committing on Friday. Maybe someone else will. Maybe we'll get a word. But guys, I have a major multi-hour meeting tonight with my number one source where we will be discussing all of it. But the bottom line, Ohio State's 2023 class, this is an absolute historic run of elite wide receivers. We've got the major Caleb Downs visit that's happening this weekend. And guys, we are so confident that Ohio State is going to land Caleb Downs, possibly pick up his silent commitment this weekend, and then he'll go public 
in July. But this is just breaking on this Wednesday, the number 50 overall prospect right now. Again, if I were to speculate on Noah Rogers' future ranking, you're looking at a five-star. There are reports out of the state of North Carolina that say this is the best prospect we've seen since I don't know who. So Noah Rogers, 6'2". I compare him to Chris Godwin when you talk about an NFL player. He's built like an absolute brick. He's a tree, tree stump. So hard to tackle. And guys, my number one source wanted me to make sure I shouted out Bryson Rogers, the four-star receiver who was committed to Ohio State. Not many people talk about him because he's not ranked high, but Bryson has just been such a great ambassador and a great recruiter for this class of 2023. He is doing unbelievable stuff on the recruiting trail, and not every player is going to be a top 100 player. You have to land players that are a little bit lower, and Bryson Rogers right now, guys, He's doing unbelievable, and he's really the kind of the glue of this class because this is a class that's lacking a quarterback. Normally, you think recruiting classes, the quarterback joins, and then the whole class kind of falls into place. The receivers want to play with the quarterback, things like that. The crazy thing is Dylan Rayola is such a good recruiter and such a good prospect. You've got guys like Carnell Tate. Even though they're one class ahead of him, they're getting excited to possibly play with Dylan Rayola, who is the number one overall prospect in the class of 2024. And Dylan was recently on campus in a workout yesterday. He's recruiting like crazy. He's talking about Jeremiah Smith possibly committing very soon. We're expecting it possibly tomorrow if they do do the back-to-back-to-back-to-back Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Maybe someone commits Friday. I would have said... Jermaine Matthews earlier, but now Jermaine has come out and said he's committing on July 1st. So Ohio State is going to get Jermaine Matthews on July 1st. Cincinnati made it close. They did a good job, but checking in with uh, uh, my number one overall source, he is coming on board. He's going to choose Ohio State. He is from Cincinnati, and Luke Fickle did an unbelievable job recruiting him, but Ohio State wants this kid. They're going to get him. He's kind of a rover type safety, really good athlete, and and again, guys, I'll say with uh, Matthews, he's a guy that's going to be moving up rankings boards. I'm not just saying that to try and be a homer. That is something he showed out apparently at a camp he was at, and people are like, wow, this dude is legit. He'll be coming to Ohio State. So we still do have uh, Jeremiah Smith on Commitment Watch. And then also the quarterback, Austin Novosad, the current Baylor commit, is on Flip Watch for Ohio State. Maybe that'll be the Friday commitment if you do want to go Jeremiah Smith tomorrow you could go Austin Novosad on Friday if he decides to flip. That's a little bit of a different situation because he is committed to Baylor and he wants to respect Baylor, certainly. But this is a business and this kid, he believes in his ability. I talked about him in my last video earlier this morning. Uh, Austin Novosad, looking like he will be flipping his commitment to Ohio State. He's on commitment watch. And then Jermaine Matthews on July 1st, obviously. Guys, these are massive developments. This is a massive story. The superstar Noah Rogers is officially in, and Ohio State has their four wide receivers for the class of 2023, including three top 50 overall players and a very solid four-star Bryson Rogers, who is completely killing it right now on the recruiting trail. You've got two five-stars, and the only reason Carnell Tate is not the number one overall receiver in the country is because of ESPN's inexplicable rankings. They've got him outside of their top 100. Brandon Innes has been a top receiver since the beginning. And then Noah Rogers is someone we expect to possibly become a five-star. So guys, that is everything going on with Ohio State football. We've got developing stuff. We've got a situation happening tomorrow with Jeremiah Smith on Commitment Watch. Will he, you know, wait till tomorrow to announce to make it back to back to back to back? That is what my number one source is hinting at. He's been theorizing that's what they're doing. They're trying to line up the commits in a row in a week to really infuse life into the Ohio State program. That's the goal. And wow, what an absolute historic run this is for Brian Hartline and Ohio State. So guys, make sure you're following me on Twitter. Link to that's always in the description. I'm, of course, the Depressed Ginger. Thank you for watching.